Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I have a brand new video for you guys. Um, we're going to be talking about gaming laptops and gaming desktops. And I know I have a video like this that I made maybe a, half, like half a year ago or something like that, but I do believe it is time for a new video like this. Uh, we're going to be looking at gaming laptops, gaming desktops, the whole source that probably should have started out on Google like I planned for. And before any of you say anything, I know, trust me, I know, I am making this video on a Mac and I just, I cannot wait to read the comments I get. I, like, honestly, <laughs> it's going to be the highlight of my day. So let's get all right, into this video. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys some laptops, and then I'm going to be going over pros and cons, kind of like I did in the last video with the pros and cons, except this time you're going to be able to see some actual products and uh, just kind of see what my two cents are. And I pick the uh, products from, you know, the best of 2016, 2017, and then I have a custom-built computer to compare them all. So let's get right into the first one. We have the Asus ROG. <laughs> Not going to try the rest of that name. I mean... <laughs> What do, they, what do they expect? Like, hey man, what laptop you got? Oh, it's an Asus. Like, I know that, but what is it? Just, oh, it's a GL52VY DS. <laughs> no, <laughs> can't be done. <laughs> Come on, Asus, <laughs> stick with Starex. <laughs> Now, this laptop actually is on sale right now on Amazon. If you were looking at this and you're like, I don't know, maybe I'll get it whenever it goes on sale. Well, today is your lucky day because it is on sale. Save yourself $450, a rough estimate. Um, this is a fine laptop. This was, I think, might have been voted number one gaming laptop of 2017. The one thing I can say about this is it is super thin. I, I mean, I've... The last video I talked about how chunky the laptops were becoming, and uh, I think I think 2017 and on it's gonna be some good years for gaming laptops. But there are problems that still prevail, and I will get into that. But one thing I just want to talk about: I I hate this. I hate the WASD keys that are red. <laughs> what is that supposed to do? Remind you where the keys? Are? Like, hmm, I wonder how I'm supposed to play. If you need to remind. <laughs> If you need your keyboard's keys to be red to remind you where to put your fingers, you're not a PC gamer, bro. <laughs> this is a mighty fine looking laptop. I know, uh, you know, I'm 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 not too big on Windows laptops, so I personally would not get this machine or any other laptop from Windows, but for the money, if you are looking for this, this is a mighty fine option for you. GTX 980, I think it has an i7 processor, Skylake, um, 4 gigabytes of VRAM, that's that's a pretty big deal, especially for a laptop. Uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, which is, that's all you need, guys. I Like, people are like, oh yeah, well, I got 128 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> Who cares, man? What are you doing? Running a thousand virtual machines. I digress. Let's continue. One terabyte hard drive, 128 gigabyte SSD, M.2 SSD, mind you. But the sad part is about the M.2 and it only being 128 gigs is that's really just going to be for startup files and a few games maybe. But M.2 is a great technology. I just think for the price, I, it maybe should have been about a 500 gigabyte M.2. That's just, that's my say. Um, I believe this screen is 1080p. If if I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comment section. Um, I've, I've looked, I've looked around and, you know, I, I'm notorious for skipping over things, just skim reading it. But yeah, 1920 by 1080p. So this is a 1080p monitor, which is good because, honestly, let, let me, this part of the video needs to be done right now. If you're getting a gaming laptop, Please get a 1080p screen. Do not splurge. I know I know Razer has like upgrade to the 4K display. Don't. <laughs> Please don't. One, Windows cannot uh, I don't know why. It's they cannot scale to 4K. It, it it doesn't happen. It looks horrible. Everything's just bad and most of the time the GPU that they give you inside of the laptop cannot run your game at 4K, so it's like, why even bother, you know? And it's like, oh, but but you can get the Razer Core, and you can get a... That's like, that's like another $1,000, just get a gaming desktop at that point. But I digress, let's keep going. HP, man, HP coming out with a gaming laptop? 
who knows? This is a new brave world. Then again, we have our slim design, which I am I'm a fan of, guys. I mean, I've always said that gaming laptops are chunky and ugly and just Oh, I think I they're changing. They're changing quite a bit. Now here we have a problem. A problem that I told you last time. The 4K gaming display not only a 4k display but a 17 inch 4k display way too many pixels this um gtx 965m unless you're playing like baby boy games you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to use that screen and especially on windows with their scaling but this laptop is actually pretty good this is another bigger laptop if you're looking for more of a content you know if you're watching a lot of videos i can understand the 4k display and i can understand the 17 inch display but really 1080p is about all you need on a gaming laptop you know gaming laptop only um basically because of the reasons that i've, I've said twice now so this you do get a 256 gigabyte ssd but guess what it is not m.2 which means it will be slower, significantly slower. And although that's not too big of a problem for most people, um, you know, it's kind of hard to tell uh, the actual speed of the drive whenever you're working. But it's, you know, it's going to be a fast, fast drive. SSD is fast no matter how you go. And this seems like a pretty good laptop, you know, a thou under 1,500. And you're getting what seems to be, like I said, seems to be a pretty good laptop. The only thing that I kind of have a gripe with, and I'm completely ignorant to this i could be wrong but it, it looks like they enjoy their red theme so you might not be able to customize those colors um i've looked on here and i'm i'm not sure it doesn't specify i wish they would have you know battery life up to six we're gonna talk about the battery life. just take note of that up to six hours <laughs> take note of it guys next it can't be a laptop comparison without an Origin, right? The, the, the Origin laptops, you're looking at the Origin 17.3 inch. This thing is a beast for what it is, but it is chunky. Look at that. Look how ch <laughs> it, It's a big laptop, and, and there's pros that come with a big laptop, and there's also cons. We'll get into that later, but this you actually get an i5 I, I believe with the other two you do get i yeah both of the other um laptops you have do it does come with an i7 processor this is an i5 still a skylake 16 gigabytes 250 gigabyte ssd and a terabyte hard drive seems to be the theme and a 980m vr ready so if you're into vr this might be the uh might be the play for you also you know, get your black, get your red, get your white, color coordinate to whatever you want to color coordinate to. But all of these computers are good choices. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not going to say like, oh, gaming laptops are trash, throw them away. But now I kind of want to show you what your money could go towards, right? So this is a custom computer that I built. And I do know I skimped on mouse and keyboard. I didn't really skim too much on the monitor. Uh, this is just an ultra wide 1080p, 21 by 9 although it's not 1080p to be exact because it's an ultra wide and you got to factor in everything but i want you guys to look at first of all the price 1600 that seems to be the uh you know the median between the average of all prices so i thought it was a pretty good price for the build and this is actually a very good computer this computer will play any current game and will continue to play the current games for a very long time something that i can't personally say about these laptops so as you can see, we have to pick up a cooling fan because our i7 that we put in does not come with one. Windows 10 honestly is the best Windows operating system, especially for gaming. They have optimized it really well for Windows, and I've I've enjoyed Windows 10. I've enjoyed using Windows 10, and I, I've liked it a lot better than 8 and 8.1. Um, 7, 7 was just more of a utilitarian operating system, but I do believe Windows 10 is trying to spruce it up a little bit appeal to the uh younger people to try to get on uh, other operating systems levels kind of <laughs> we have some viper elite series um ram and and one thing you get with the desktop is you can change all of these pieces out you know as long as it's ddr4 with a skylake um, motherboard or a skylake processor and your lga 1151 
motherboard, you, you'll be good. So next up we have what is the heart of the system, not not little, uh, the CPU. CPU is the brain. What what would be the heart? Uh, there is no heart. It's a computer. <laughs> the EVGA GeForce GTX 1070. This thing is also, it, it works with your VR, if you guys are into VR stuff. Very good, very good um, graphical processing. <laughs> Why did I say it out? I, I don't know. Leave it there. 8 gigabytes of GDDR5. And, you know, I at this point I'm reading labels, but very good. Um, nice power supply, Corsair, uh, 750 watt. It is bronze and it could be better. You know, you can get a gold, platinum, you just keep going up to titanium. <laughs> We have this case, and actually this case right here is pretty cool. I've, I've never seen a case like this. Uh, let's go ahead and click on it. Let me show you guys. Up on the top, as you can see, is see-through as well. I've never seen that before, so I definitely threw this case into the build. Um, this is just kind of like a throw-together build. There was no set budget other than kind of be between the prices of all three of these laptops and you know, still have a monitor and keyboard and we keep going down here's your terabyte hard drive like all the other laptops come with your i7 6700k k being that you can overclock so you know if if you're into that sort of thing and i would not if you're gonna overclock i would not recommend this this is basically just get you going but if you're gonna overclock i would recommend water cooling uh, next up we have our motherboard this could be better or, you know, it could be worse, but it's an MSI gaming. I think the theme is kept well between this computer. You know, there's not really a theme, but it works. And 120 gigabyte SSD operating system in a few games. So the grand total of this, like I said, is $1,646. Now, let's look at one more alternative and yes, it's by Alienware, if you can see it. Now, as you can see from all of these computers, and I'll actually, you know what, I'll, I'll save that last tab. Let's go over some pros and cons, all right? So pros of a laptop, it's a laptop, right? You can take it around with you. You can throw it in a book bag. You can, you know, you can fly with it, ride on a bus with it. You can do whatever you want to because it's mobile. But only the laptop is. The gaming part, that separate word, is <laughs> your gaming laptop is not mobile. Your laptop is mobile. Your gaming laptop is not. You will get probably... I, I don't even... I, this will be a con. And let me just save it. But I'll, I'll save it the way that was right there. So next up, it's an only one You get your keyboard, your mouse, your monitor, your trackpad, your monitor, and your speakers all together. You know, you get your keyboard. I mean, you're just rocking. It's all inside of one package, and you're ready to go. That's it. You throw it in a bag, and that's it. There's nothing else except the charging cable <laughs> you better bring that charging cable <laughs> and maybe a pair of headphones and honestly like any years these days uh, you got like 10 of them laying around your house next USB-C technology now I know that one of these laptops I think it was the HP Omen however I don't know if it has the most uh, the current USB-C but if you have a laptop you can get a Razer Core and you can get more out of your laptop but you have to buy the Razer Core and you have to buy that GPU as well. And next up, it's an outer room workhorse. If you're v editing videos, you're doing YouTube, if you're editing photos, you don't really have to be in your room. And that's kind of nice. You know, if you ever just want to go sit outside and do... <laughs> no, you can't. You can't sit outside with your gaming laptop. Unless, of course, there's a power outlet nearby. Then, then you're outside. Then you're... <laughs> but you're tethered to the house. I'm having too much fun with this. All right. Um, you know, if you're in class, you can have your Photoshop or whatever your kids use these days, Sony Vegas, and then you can come back home and also use it, and you're not really tied down to just a desktop. Like, man, I wish I could be working on this, but I got to go home. So keep that in mind. Now let's go to the cons of the laptop. First off, the con is, and I'll click through these little tabs so you can kind of look. Um, con of laptop number one. Battery life, battery life, battery life, battery life. And I've read some of your comments in my last video, and you're like, battery life? When you compare it to the battery life of a desktop? No, I'm con I'm, I'm, I'm not comparing it to anything. <laughs> There's no comparison. The battery life is not good. And, and you're like, oh, but you're, you're going to be on Wi-Fi to game. You're going to need to be around and out with. But 
if you're going to be on Wi-Fi to game, why not just get a desktop? That's that's my opinion. I mean, not Wi-Fi to game, but if, if you're going to be plugged in, why not just be tethered to a desktop? And I do get it. It's like, and a lot of laptops these days, I'll give some companies this, that their battery life has improved. Um, like the HP Omen says six hours. That's six hours of you surfing the web. It's a solid 30 minutes for you gaming. But the battery life is horrible. And, and even if you game and you're like, oh, I can be plugged in, you're ruining your battery. Like the more you use something with it plugged in, especially a computer, ruins the battery and especially a high draining activity like gaming. So keep that in mind if you plan to be using a gaming laptop and plugged in that you are killing your battery and it's just going to get even worse. Next up, the monitor. I talked about it. 4K, but it's not really a Windows problem. I mean, it, but it is a Windows problem. <laughs> Their scaling's horrible. And, and like I touched on, sometimes the laptops that come with the 4K displays can't game at 4K, and that blows my mind. It's like, oh, got to scale back to 1080p, but 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 I paid an extra seven hundred dollars for the 4K. Why can't a game at 4K? That's what I want to know. I want to know that. <laughs> Next plastic. I, as you can tell from the Mac, I I do not like plastic laptops. I think, and especially something that's gonna cost like a thousand four hundred. I know I know the Razer is aluminum, but a, the Razer has its problems too. Trust me. I'll talk about that if you want me to, but most of these that you're seeing here are plastic, and I just, looking at this keyboard, I've never held this in my hand, and it's, it's a pretty bold assumption, but there I can see the flex. I don't even have to touch it. That entire trackpad's going down every single click. I know that for a fact. This laptop, the HP, might not have it as bad just from its form factor and how it's kind of seated into the laptop, the way it is, just it kind of looks like it. But this this computer, yeah, I it could be solid. I know Origin is a very good company, but I I know for sure this laptop's gonna have a lot of keyboard flex, and it's because it's plastic. And I mean, even if it's not plastic, it's a cheap uh, alloy. So next up, hot and noisy. If you own a gaming laptop, let me know down below how hot the thing gets and how noisy it gets because there is no such thing as a quiet gaming laptop nor is there such thing as a cool gaming laptop and you can take that both ways cool and cool they're not cool <laughs> i'm kidding um so yeah it's it's hot and noisy and the problem with hot and noisy thermal throttling whenever you have a gaming laptop and you're gaming you're pumping out the heat all your pieces are working you start to get decrease in performance. The system cannot cool itself as fast as you're heating it up. That's something that a desktop can do, and I have not seen a laptop that can do that by any means by this point. I mean, it can keep it within a, a reasonable range, but it's not going to really get you to where you want to be whenever you're gaming. Next up, it's not really upgradable. You know, some laptops, you know, like, oh, you can replace the RAM, you can get a new hard drive, but that's that's about where it is. You know, it's proprietary hardware other than that, and it's, it's hard to upgrade a gaming laptop, and especially if you're going to have something that is a gaming machine that costs so much, you kind of want to be able to throw in a new graphics card whenever that one gets old. But, to each his own. Next up, the price. Now, the price is, is a little bit on the thing because laptops are cheap. Especially Windows laptops, and it's just something about Windows laptops that drop in value really quickly. Um, but you know what? This we won't talk about that. We'll just leave it at price. You can take from that what you want. And this is my personal opinion. I think gaming laptops are ugly. The only one that comes close is the Razer Blades. But still, that green Razer logo, it just does not look professional. Like, I would never want to bring this or this. Uh, maybe, maybe this. That emblem's got me a little shaken up, but definitely not this big, big, noisy thing. This thing makes noise when it's not even on. I can tell that. From the, actually, because it's thick, it probably has a, a better fans, and yeah, it's going to be noisy, but... Let me tell you guys, the, the Razer Blade, if you have, I think it's the Razer Blade Stealth, 
you can just log into Windows and it's just it goes quiet. It does. <laughs> just that jet engine turns on way too much. Let's talk about some desktops. Pros and cons. Let's go ahead and look at this list if you are interested. I'll get right here into the nitty gritty. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's look at some of these pieces while I'm talking. Here we go. Uh, all right. So, pros for a desktop built by you? Question mark. If you're gonna build it, it's pretty cool to say, hey, I built my own computer, and a lot of people can say that. I mean, there's a lot of people that can. But, you know, there's just something that comes with it. It's like, yeah, I built that. And, you know, if you're in a group where everyone else built a computer, then it's no big deal. But it's just kind of cool knowing that you built something that works. Hopefully it works. Next up, full power. You get the full power of every single device that's in. There's no thermal throttling. Unless, of course, you don't have fans. But that's kind of hard to deal with. How do you not have fans? You know, the case comes just... I know this case came with a fan, but uh, I'm not really feeling it. Next up, we have easily upgradable. Yes, yes, yes. If you ever need a new piece, just swap it in and swap it out. Three pieces that I always say do not go cheap on if you are building a computer that is, you know, before you buy it that you will later want to upgrade it. Like, as I was like, okay, I have a fixed budget now, but in four months, I'm getting some money and I know I'm going to upgrade this computer. Get a good CPU. A good motherboard and a good power supply, and you're good. You know, get those three things that are not very cheap, or spend most of your money there so you can upgrade the other pieces later. And plenty of accessories. You're gonna have two monitors, three monitors, six monitors, depending on the graphics card. Uh, keyboards, any kind of keyboard you want, any kind of mouse that you want. Very upgradable. I know you're like, oh, but you can plug it into a laptop, but you're not bringing that around. The point of the laptop is to be mobile. I want a mobile game. And if you're gonna plug it up on your desk with your monitor and keyboard, I get that. I understand that. I feel what you're doing, but desktop, bro. Just get a desktop. But... Let's go on to the cons, and really there's only two cons for a desktop. It's not mobile. Um, you can, you know, send it to, or not send it, but you can pick it up and kind of go anywhere you want to with it. Um, you throw it in your car or throw it in your friend's car, go over to their house, plug up and play. Everything's fine. You're just not going to be able to game at school, on the bus, on the train, like you can with a laptop for 30 minutes, of course. So... <laughs> That's one. And the next one is required accessories. You can't just build a desktop and be done with it, right? You got to get a laptop. I mean, you got to get a keyboard. You got to get a mouse. If you're building your own, you got to get a lap. I mean, you got to get a monitor and you got to get Windows 10. And it's just, you know, there's just those extra costs. It's like, I'm not, I just want to play, man. I, I don't want to worry about that. But with that all said, let's look at what, uh, first of all, if you can't tell, I'm partial to gaming desktops. I think that if you're going to game, game on a desktop. You know, there's no point in having the laptop. And I know that you're going to love the desktop whenever you get it. I mean, you'd love the laptop. But here's my solution to you. If you're like, I need something for class, but I want to game, I would pick up the Alienware Aurora, right? You're like, whoa, Alienware Air and Alienware sucks. We all know, actually... Yeah, you might be wrong. Alienware stepped up a lot in the past few years. And honestly, this $800 budget computer is good. It's good for the money. Sure, you might be able to build it, but you're really just getting a pre-built. Maybe you don't know how to build a computer. I would recommend getting this and spending whatever else you have on a budget on a cheaper laptop that you can just throw in a bag and take to class. That's it. Said and done. You got your gaming and you got your school. I think that's the best of both worlds, and honestly, if I had a, a you know large enough budget, I would do this too. And hopefully you guys have learned something in this video or just enjoyed me rambling on about certain things. <laughs> that battery life. <gasps> Roast me down below for the, the Mac on a on a PC. <laughs> Peace.